called um, the the documentary I saw on Netflix is called uh, Skinwalker Ranch. Have you seen that or know about that? Mm-hmm. So it's a it's a docu series about six or seven. No, it's eight episodes about this place that has been around for a long, long time that had odd things taking place there. Highly recommend watching it. It's on Netflix. Just search Skinwalker Ranch. But based on the trailers for Nope, it won't surprise me if there's a lot of similar things in Nope that actually have taken place at Skinwalker Ranch. Cool. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. Of course, <laughs> I haven't seen Nope, and I haven't seen Skinner. I don't have a lot to comment there. Yeah. Uh, subscribe. It, it involves like button. It, extraterrestrial and or interdimensional beings. I'll into your mom. Too late. <laughs> Today we got a. Uh, this is actually behind the scenes of Fafa's new film. Oh uh, yay! It's called. Uh, the the uh, film, yeah, obviously. Uh, uh, M- M- Malian Kunjo, Which I believe. Uh, yes, Fafa starring, and it's A.R. Rahman's script. But, yes, so this is like, um, obviously, the, I've been told that they're not giving anything away. That's right. wasn't already in the trailer, right? Um, but like, they're going to show like a little kind of almost. Mon- it's not like right somebody actually talking. That's about what I was expecting. It's more of a montage, more montage. But they're going to show like the sets being built, Great. what they kind of had to do. So we're not going to get a legitimate like bird's no. eye view. No, 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 no I, I, I want to yet. Yeah, because uh, obviously we haven't. I prefer s- seen the film. I prefer those kinds of things, like the uh, uh, after you've seen the film mm-hmm. and see how it was made. Yeah, because beforehand it, you don't really want to see that. No, um, but uh, very excited about this film. I'm so hoping it's we kind of actually... like k- kids. You really you want to see everything about them afterwards, but you don't want to see the making of them before you see the kid because that should be private between the parents. Oh, I want to see it. Speaking of babies. Mm. Yes. Shout out to the camera work right there. Nice miniatures. I love that they built this actual set. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. The people that make the movies look like the movies. Would you do something like that? A hundred percent. I would. I would adore working that, on something like that. I know there's some like people like other claustrophobic and stuff. So. Oh no, I would. I would. What a oh. wonderful, fully immersive experience for you as the actor. Makes it easy as an actor. And the sense of safety yeah. doing it this way versus like Revenant when everything was outdoors. Ah, love it. Lovely. That is so cool. 
That's a great promotional piece. That is so cool. Yep. I I love that they built that entire practical set. Me too. That is so that that is movie making right yep. there. That is and, the magic of movie making. I, and it makes the I don't wanna I don't wanna say it makes the actor shop easy because obviously in especially for something like this where you're no, literally supposed to be yeah. It, it makes your job much easier than it would have been if it's like green screen. Yes. Like you get you have running water going, right? That's gonna yes. be splashing in your face. You have yes. the dark, you have the mud, you have literally all this stuff that is so helpful to you don't have to act at that point. Right. Uh, you're in the moment being given to you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's wonderful that uh, they were able to one have that costs a lot of money. Yeah. That is I mean, I know this film doesn't have like a, a, a Brahmastra budget. I'm not saying it that, but that's that's probably a good chunk of their budget. That's a big chunk of the investment. Building the that. time and the man hours and the materials to create that. And then the other things needed to be in place to protect equipment when you're filming in actors. those conditions and to protect the actors um, is, is monumental. As well as, I mean, I doubt, because it would cost so much money, I doubt they did anything to the temperature of the water. So I bet they were dealing with, you know, just standard temperature water, mm -hmm. which was probably not as cold as in the, the outdoors, but it was still probably quite cold. I was, I was thinking, that's a question, when we get the opportunity to talk to him, that's a question I want to ask him and see if this is the answer as to what's been one of the most challenging, if not the most challenging roles you've ever had to do physically. One day, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but, like, also, shout out to... Not only obviously Fafa, but the people that have to be there and with a massive camera. <laughs> yeah, that is difficult. <laughs> like the, I mean, there's a lot of unsung heroes in, in filmmaking. Obviously, the Always. acting, directing, yeah. writers, and 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 score people. Those are the people that get the most praise. Those are the ones with the names, right? But the other people, like the DOPs and the the camera operators and the the, the lighting people and the the set designers, these are the ones that don't get the praise that they deserve. Uh, except for if they win an award, yeah, exactly uh, for it, and then even then, most people don't watch those. And I, I can tell there's going to be a lot of things in this that are going to be screaming about an incredible achievement in cinematography already. They love that one thing they did where they had the rail, and he was underneath it. Uh -huh. So rather than have him wear a camera or have the camera operator above him. It's on a railing and he's kind of sliding with it. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be so fun to watch. There's going to be so many times, even though we saw that, I know there's going to be times in the movie you're watching and you're going to think to yourself, how'd they get that shot? Yeah. And it's looking like it's going to be a uh, very, uh, from the trailer as well, when you're in an intimate space like that, but the coloring and the shadows yes. and the, uh, doing it in dark to not just make it look like a black screen and sound because so much of the sound is going to have to be post-production they'll capture a lot of it but to get the realism of the sound there's going to be a lot of sound engineering in this that is going to be as well how'd you get that to work and very excited they must have been so excited when this went from concept to storyboard and they were really getting the feel for what this was going to be yeah. Uh, this must have been just an exciting project to work on. Yeah, and it's our first Fafa film since the... Chi oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> We've had quite a few, and it's been amazing. Yes. Uh, they've all been good. App them, right? like, yeah. Hey, all the new ones, especially. That We've liked some more than others. But there's... The only one that we didn't like that he's been in is obviously Pushpa. Oh, yeah, he was in that. Yeah. Yeah. Although he was nice in that. Yeah, we didn't have a problem with with Fafa. But he was only a pinch of Fafa. Yeah, it was a that was one of the problems we had with it. We only got a pinch of Fafa, and we wanted a full snort. <laughs> I always want a snort of Fafa. <laughs> He's never coming on the channel now. <laughs> Come on the channel. We'll snort Fafa. Uh, anyways, let us know if you're excited. Wish we were next uh, Malayalam and Fafa film. Uh, Trance is one that a lot of people uh, say. And yeah, I've heard that one over I and think, over. I think his wife said her favorite of his is the artist i think it's an older one of his that um I well think... I, I highly recommend we watch if it's his wife's favorite um but anyways <laughs> let us know down below Josh!